Hi, I'm Yvonne Pran with Bible 805, and I would like to share with you how to understand the different types of writing in the Bible. It's also called hermeneutics or genre studies, but I do it in everyday language. Now, here's why this group of lessons is important and why I teach it. Although the Bible is one book, ultimately by one author, our God, it's made up of 66 individual books of different types. In the Bible, we find narrative, prophecy, poetry, laws, and we can't read the various books in the same way that we would read every other book if we want to correctly understand their message. This group of lessons, and it's growing as I add additional ones to it, will help you understand how each, what each type is, how each genre is constructed, its unique characteristics, and how to get the most out of it. I also go over common ways people distort what's taught in the Bible because they don't understand some of these basic principles and how to avoid doing that. Here are the lessons that are in this group. And again, they are, I'll give you the links later, but they're all on the Bible 805 website, the Bible 805 YouTube channel, and most importantly, the Bible 805 Academy, where they're all free to download edit, use however you want in your teaching. No strings attached. The first one is, the Bible didn't say that. Um, a brief introduction to hermeneutics and why it's important. That's just the art and the science of biblical interpretation. And then part two is three tools to keep you from making mistakes as you read the Bible. Both of these are very important lessons. I then have an overview one, and, and this is one of my favorites actually. It is one on the Bible, novel or short stories, and why it matters. You see, many people look at the Bible as just a collection of like a collection of short stories. Many stories that are loosely tied together, different authors and uh, different time and all of that. Well, that might be true on a superficial level, but in reality, our Bible is much more like a novel because it's one story, one coherent plot line, one ultimate author, our infallible, true God who exists outside of time. And I go through in the lesson why this is important, how the Bible is really structured this way, and I think you'll find it a very interesting lesson. Um, then, as I go through the entire Bible, and I have lessons for you on every book in the Bible, but I also included guidelines for the various types and genres as we encounter them. For example, from Exodus to Deuteronomy, don't bail out how to understand the Old Testament laws using historical context and typology. You do run into some tough reading when you get to these, but if you understand what they are, what it's about, what God is doing to teach you through them, it helps greatly. Then uh, when you get to the biblical narratives, how to correctly understand and apply Bible stories and biblical narratives. A lot of people think that just because something's in the Bible, they can grasp it and use that themselves in exactly the same way. And that's that's not the point of the biblical narratives, and this lesson will help you on that. Then about prophecy, um, all about the prophetic books that are little, little understood really overall in the Old Testament and not read very often either, but they're incredibly important. And then another on two key characteristics of prophetic books. I also have some infographics for you. Bible 805 and the 805 Academy, there are a lot of infographics that I put together that you may freely copy, download, and share. This particular one, um, the Old Testament Prophets timeline, <laughs> hundreds of people download that every week from my website, which I'm very thankful for, uh, but it has proven to be extremely useful to people because you can see when the prophets spoke. Our Bibles are not organized in chronological order, which is one reason why I want you to read them in that order, but this helps you see who who was king, what happened, and who were the prophets preaching at that time. And then the books of the Bible will make much more sense to you. Um, here is one on the Pentateuch and the prophets. The reason I did this particular one on the genre studies is so you can see how God 
told his people right after the Exodus how he wanted them to live. They didn't do it, and they were then punished for it, but they couldn't say that God was just beating up on them without reason. And this timeline helps you see exactly when different things happened and how God was faithful in telling his people what he was going to do and then following through on it, both with blessings and with judgment. Um, and this, this too is really important to help you understand the whole prophetic genre, and that is God's view of time. I use this in quite a number of lessons, and I think you'll find it very helpful in your teaching for people to realize that God exists outside of time, and as the author of the Bible, he knows everything that happened in eternity past, and all that will happen in eternity future. We just live in this little point of time, and so God sees, knows all of it, and can speak to it. When the prophets speak for God, they speak, you see, from his viewpoint. And that's why it's really important to understand this in prophetic writing, that this is just something they dreamed up or that they wrote after the fact, which a lot of modern critics accuse them of, but that they're speaking from God's view outside of time. This will help you and your students understand so much of scripture that will be confusing without it. And again, I use it in numerous lessons on various books of the Bible, and it has really proven helpful to people. An important thing to also understand, a type that isn't in our Bible, are the Gnostic Gospels. And I have an entire lesson on them, with that uh, they're false Gospels, I talk about what uh, the rather popular movement today called deconstruction, where people are looking to see if they can truly trust different books of the Bible. And I show you from a purely historical objective viewpoint, what is true gospel, what are the Gnostic gospels, and why they're false. Now, to access any and all of these lessons, you can go to the Bible 805 website, www.bible805.com. You can look at the videos on them on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Bible805. And if you want to study them more yourself, if you would like to download and teach them, have the videos without the YouTube ads, editable PowerPoints, notes, questions, all of those sorts of things. They're all free or a pay what you want, but I greatly encourage you just download them for free. My prayer, my goal with all of this is to help you know, trust, apply, and teach the Bible. So use all these things with my blessing. I'm Yvonne Pran with Bible 805.